Hello, fellow ant keepers, and I've completely run out of video ideas. No video this week. It's it's sad, but um, I I just can't think of anything. Oh. I guess this is the first impressions of an S that Aesthetic Ants has been kind enough to send to me. Before I get into my opinions on this nest, I want to say that though Aesthetic Ants did send this to me free of charge, that in no way affects my opinions of the nest itself. He didn't get any creative input on this video, nor did he see it before it was released. With that said, let's get into it. First off, this nest is surprisingly light when compared to its Waitong and acrylic nest competitors. That's because this is a 3D printed nest made out of polylactic acid, or PLA for short. PLA, which, side note alert, is marketed as biodegradable, but it really isn't, as the conditions needed for the enzymes to start breaking this down are above 60 degrees Celsius and moisture, which isn't really that often found in nature, making this nest not biodegradable, but just degradable. Other than that, PLA is a pretty great material. Hard, but fairly cheap, and water resistant, which meant that Aesthetic Ants had to think a little bit outside of the box for the hydration system. In this nest, there is a large sponge which is bordered by a 3D printed lattice. This is clever, I think in terms of effectiveness, it will be more effective than the systems found in Ants Australia and Ant Kit acrylic nests, where water has to travel in between the panels, but not quite as effective as Waitong nests. There are three points of entry for a syringe or pipette to water the sponge. I think that if each week you alternate which hole you hydrate through, you might be able to let some portion of the sponge completely dry out extending its lifetime by quite a bit. The viewing panel can be taken off by unscrewing these four allen keys. Because this nest is all one piece, it will be very easy to maintain and clean, replace the sponge, that sort of thing, as opposed to acrylic nests, where you have to worry about screws and spacers and getting the layers in the right order. The layout of the nest is very nice and natural, with some very wide open spaces and some smaller nooks and crannies for those ants that like them, in addition to variation in height. Overall, everything is looking pretty good. I do have two major gripes with this nest though. The entrance port is pretty annoying. With this one, you can only do this 9mm size tubing, which factoring in the space lost in the walls of the tube, leaves a pretty tight space for ants to go through. I think that some majors in the genus Mesa, especially in the species such as Cephalotes or Arenarius, would have trouble getting into this nest. So that's something to be aware of. Wait, I'm getting some new intel. Uh-huh. Okay, so it turns out that in the newly revised edition of this nest, there's an improved connector, just like those found on the ant source acrylic nests. My second gripe is that the coloration in this nest is quite plain. I would have liked to see some more uh, contrast, maybe painting the upper layer of it in a different colour, something like that. Overall, this is a pretty great nest. The large, the size I have right here, is priced at 24 euros and 95 cents. The medium is priced at 19 euros and 95 cents, and the small at 14 euros and 95 cents. I think that this is a very reasonable price for this line of nests, especially the large size that I have here. I think is a killer deal. By the way, do you think this nest will be too big for my Lacius Niger colony? 
If it is too big, then I will be forced to wait until they get big enough, delaying both the moving video and review video for this nest. What do you think? Put your thoughts down in the comments. With that said, I am done. If you enjoyed this video or you learned something, then like and subscribe. If you didn't, then don't. And I will see you in the next video.